All right, we're a little more now than a month away from the presidential election, and the men who want to be vice president are touting their ticket. Joining us live now, veteran political analyst Linda Shad, who worked in the Carter White House. Linda, what's your big picture take on what the American people saw from these candidates, J.D. Vance and Tim Walls tonight? Well, from a style standpoint, I think they saw the fast-talking lawyer, J.D. Vance, versus the football coach, Tim Waltz. From a substance standpoint, we saw Waltz try to keep everything on Trump's temperament and reproductive rights and freedom. And we saw Vance try to keep everything on immigration and Harris's uh, record. Well... Linda, I want to turn to the moderators. They, of course, play a huge role in how these debates are presented and sometimes interpreted. ABC only fact-checked one candidate during the last debate. Do you think CBS played it more down the middle? I think they did, and I also think that the that Vance did a much better job of fact-checking um, Waltz than Waltz did of fact-checking Vance. I would have liked to have seen him go more uh, go more on the attack on some of the things that Vance said that eventually he got to, particularly on Trump's position on Obamacare uh, and and on abortion. Would you? I think. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Linda. Would you give either candidate an edge when addressing Big Ten issues that you mentioned, immigration and also the economy? I I think it was a draw on the economy. I think obviously Vance took a uh, was able to land a lot of hits on immigration, but I think the other Big Ten issue is abortion, and that's where Tim Waltz, along with his January 6 challenge to uh, Vance, that's where he had his best moments. Well, Linda, I think the candidates tonight showed more class towards each other than what we typically see during debates, and we're now 34 days out until the election. Did tonight's showing have the power to move the needle, in your opinion? Vice presidential debates rarely make a difference. The only time in the recent history they've made a difference was when Sarah Palin was on the ticket with McCain. Tonight, though, these two had to reintroduce themselves or in some cases introduce themselves to the American people. So from that standpoint, it might move the needle some. Linda, quickly, uh, we've got about a minute left. Uh, these guys were talking about uh, the possibility of deportation and what can be done. The vast majority of the American people say they'd like to see some of that. How do you think Vance uh, versus uh, Walls handled that particular topic? Well, the question was directly to to Vance about mass deportations, and I think he had a relatively good answer because he broke it down into first we're going to deport the criminals and then we're going to deport people who are taking American jobs. It's one of those ways that he, in a you know, in a very nice sounding way, he demonizes the people who he calls illegal aliens for taking American jobs and for in tonight taking American housing. So I think Vance scored the, uh, scored the best points on, on immigration and explained in a better way than Donald Trump has the mass uh, deportation plan. All right, veteran political analyst Linda Schott, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you.